please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up Raptors? Today is Friday, February 2nd. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. There's only a couple more class periods until the weekend. So keep on working hard. You guys got this. Now on to the daily news. Silly Holiday of the Week by Jessalyn. This week's silly holiday is... Bubblegum Day. In 1928, bubblegum was created. Walter Dimmer, working for the... Frank H. Filler Gum Company discovered bubblegum by accident while experimenting in the lab during his break. Your name? Poppy. What grade are you in? Six. What's your favorite type of gum? Watermelon. Fun fact. There are 187 gum flavors. What's your name? Bien. What grade are you in? Seventh. Can you blow a bubble? Yes. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> Can you blow a bubble? What's your name? Dana. What grade are you in? Seven. When do you think bubble gum was created? 1940. Bye, Raptors. Holidays by Regard. This week's holiday is Groundhog Day. What is Groundhog Day? Groundhog Day in the U.S. and Canada is a holiday celebrating the tradition of using a groundhog to predict the weather. If the groundhog sees his shadow, there will be six more weeks of winter. If the groundhog does not see his shadow, spring will arrive early. What's your name? Zakaria. What grade are you in? Six. Um, when is Groundhog Day? Um, February 1st. Okay, thank you. What grade are you in? Seven. Uh, do you know anything about Groundhog Day? Yeah. It's like, I got you. Do you know the, the guy's name? Shut up, Leah. Okay, thank you. Social Studies by Evan Phelps. Today we are talking to 7th graders about the Pueblo Revolt. Question 1. How did the Spanish missionaries affect the Pueblo culture? Well, what grade are you in? Seven. Who's your social studies teacher? Seven. Alright, and how did the Spanish missionaries affect the Pueblo culture? They built a bunch of churches and forced them to Catholicism. Answer. Built churches and forced them to convert to Catholicism. Question 2. What year did the Pueblo Revolt take place? What year did the Pueblo Revolt take place? 1680. Alright. The answer is 1680. Question 3. Why was the Pueblo Revolt so important? Why was the Pueblo Revolt so important? It kept the Pueblo culture. Alright, thank you. Answer. It preserved Pueblo culture. Have a good day, Raptors. Admin updates with Kaylana. Today we are here with Miss Allred. She is talking about the field trip. Hi, my name is Mrs. Allred, and I'm here to talk to you today about the field trip to go to the Call of the Wild. I'm so excited that we are going to UNM's Pope Joy Hall to get to experience a live play. I have put out information about your buses. No, you cannot change what bus you are on. Yes, you will be able to eat with your friends at lunch and visit with your friends once we get there. But it is very important you know what color your bus is and who your bus captain is because when we are exiting the theater heading back to the bus we only have 10 minutes to get from the theater to our bus so you need to make sure you are with your group you will get a sticker that matches the color of your bus that you need to put on your shirt or somewhere so you don't lose it so that you can get where you need to be to get home on time 
for that day, really important, you need to bring a throwaway sack lunch if you did not choose to have Chick-fil-A or choose to have the lunch delivered by the cafeteria, which means don't bring a lunch box that you need to take home. Put your lunch in a sack you can throw away. Same for water bottles. Don't bring a regular reusable water bottle. You need a throwaway water bottle. We cannot take food into the theater, so you need to have all things that we can throw away when we're finished with them. We're going to be eating lunch outside by UNM's Duck Pond, so make sure you dress appropriately. Make sure you have the right jacket for the day, um, the right shoes. We're going to do a lot of walking. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not suggest we wear any high heels. If you're wearing your Crocs that day, please put socks on. It's going to be cold uh, because it is February. The Call of the Wild is a great play. It's about a dog called Buck and his experiences as a sled dog in Alaska in the late 1800s. So this is going to be a really good show. I'm really excited and I can't wait to see you guys there. If you are ineligible, come to school that day prepared to do some work in a study hall and your teacher should be sharing that information with you soon. I can't wait to see you guys. Bye! Bye Raptors! Have a great day, Raptors.